Ayata was born to make us rich. I am going to marry of Aminata to a young man living in the land of the white man. What? That man you saw here brought the colonels in order to seek for her hand in marriage. No, no. This is madness. explores the theme of early marriage. It explores um, this social justice issue about the empowerment of girls. Is it that the authority is quiet about the violations on the rights of the girl type? Or uh, is just a, a cultural phenomenon that is widely accepted? Now, Aminata, young, brilliant girl, uh, was being was almost dragged out of school to be sold out into early marriage. He's accepting colonels for you from a man in school. No, I no. mean, no. why? Why? Oh, I mean, Aminata um, happens to be a very brilliant and smart young lady uh, who is just 13 but she carries herself so well that um, she's so matured like she's way older than her age she's also very determined about her future and her education which makes her a very a very very brilliant um, girl I especially want to help women who are going to have babies mm -hmm. you know my mother had a lot of problems giving birth to me. And after that, she was never able to have any more children. Wow. That is so sad. I mean, I never knew you have a big heart. But don't worry. Your dreams will surely come to you. Yeah? I mean... Uh, Momodo is uh, a very manipulative guy in the movie. Um, he would use, go to any extent to get money for himself, to follow his own selfish ambition, even to the extent of getting um, his own niece married away to someone, an unknown stranger. Aminata is my daughter too, and I have her interest at heart. Fourteen is the best age for her to be married, after all. You, you got married to Fatma when she was only twelve. But things have changed now. The only thing about to change, Baba, is for us to run away from poverty. Now tell me, is sacrificing a young girl's life to early marriage her fate in life? Or is it greed on the part of her parents? <laughs> Someone has to make the sacrifice so that we can get, get some relief. At least if only temporary from the grasp of poverty. That someone has to be you, not my daughter. Fatima is an intelligent woman of Turkey. Although uneducated, she, she demonstrates um, that had she not become a victim of an early marriage, she would have contributed to, I mean, to her society. I was afraid of you, Baba. I resented the fact that my youth was snatched away from me. And because I married early, I could not continue my education. I say enough! Now look at the miserable life we are living in. I say enough! Baba, my husband, he used to be a very good man. Until when um, Momudu tried to get him into the business of selling my 14-year-old daughter. He, become, he became totally different. He was changed, you know. I mean, he wants to join um, Momodu so that they would have something. I want to know everything. You have become very suspicious of recent. When I see you three women together, 
I want to know everything you're talking about. No, 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 please. We are two women and a child. Let me remind you in case you have forgotten, Baba. This is your little, little girl, Aminata, our daughter. Baba himself is someone who is also uh, very traditional and uh, he respects the tradition and he wants to uh, lean on the tradition in order to make sure that everything goes ahead up to the point of getting his only daughter Aminata be circumcised. He's also another uh, father who is a little bit weak because he allows himself to be pushed into letting his uh, daughter get married at a very early age, in fact at the age of 14. And uh, in the first uh, place, Baba refuses, wants to struggle against, and uh, finally he is convinced because he does not have that willpower enough in him. So finally, he gives, he lends his uh, um, uh, mind and attention to everything and uh, allows uh, the daughter to get married. But there's nothing wrong with a 14-year-old girl marrying an old man. Besides, elderly men are much more responsible. And this is our custom. You should know that. I am just from the Nganzimba. I mean, Aminata must be circumcised before she leaves. What? Let me tell you that. No. Circumcise? Nah, please, no. You're going to circumcise my granddaughter? Never! It will never happen. Muskeba, partially deaf. Uh, I think her character is very unique in the sense that uh, she comes in most of the time at the right point to save the family. What is happening again? As usual, you have to come in at the wrong time. Please, go back to your room. Do not touch my mother with your filthy, dirty, smelly hands, which you have got to my daughter. Baba! Baba, you dream! Baba, you dream! Kill him! 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 Who will fight tooth and nail to protect not only her daughter but her granddaughter? Thank you very much. We've seen your work. Not only do you now butter my daughter, you also intend to sell off my granddaughter, Aminata. Of the film is a very you know, we are all young people trying to make sure we move the Gambian movie industry <coughs> to the next level. Yeah, this is a uh, this is our production manager, <laughs> production manager Adams Wilfred. Who is who is facing the crane now? Where is the guy? The crane is ready. The crane is ready. Um, it's been fun. It's been uh, very very nice uh, working on this set. The cast and crew has been fantastic. So it's been challenging at the same time fun. You know, trying to make sure everything is in order, that the, the welfare is okay, the cast and uh, the crew, everything is on time. At times it's been you know, really, really challenging. Uh, like at the, you, you, maybe this cast is not able to make it, the other one will have to postpone production. But in a nutshell, it's been fantastic working with this cast and crew. This is our man, this is the most technical man in the entire world, Al-Qaeda. These are technician, electrician, dolly, grip holder, it's uh, everything on set. This is my continuity officer. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to say. It's, 
It's been really the hand of fate. Um, it's been a movie on set and out of set. So um, I don't, I don't. Know. So we've, uh, there's a lot of experience um, to learn from this. There's a lot of lessons and um, it's, it's 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 a it's a way forward for Gambia movie industry. It's a way forward for personal for for, for young entertainers as we are. And I hope um, in the future there'll be there'll be a lot to. to, to see. Well, um, the Hand of Fate is uh, an adapted book for screen uh, written by Janet Bajan Young and uh, it was first staged uh, in 2006. So, I mean, it has been, it has been around for a while and uh, it has been acted on stage. So, because the theme of the book, which is an early marriage, you know, girls' education, it talks about women empowerment, we decided to adapt it for screen. Early marriage, female genital courting is a very um, popular issue across Africa. And uh, of course, young girls are the, are the victim and the most affected. So this film talks about FGM that is female genital mutilation on one aspect and on the other side it talks about uh, early marriage you know for girls uh, i think the movie is uh, very significant in the lives of young people especially girls who were victims of early marriage uh, i think this would stand out to help young people or to help people who have been victims to speak out and also it would reduce the rate of early marriage. It would obviously be a standard movie to reduce the influence of early marriage as well. It's a very good movie. Early and forced marriage is something that we should all uh, fight and advocate against because really it's not in the best interest of the child and um, we have to protect our, the girl child and make sure that she receives um, the best of education and also the girl child is able to contribute her quota to the development of our nations. And what, what, we, what we tried to do was to not just bring out you know, why they get into early marriage and so on or, or the consequences which most people do. We decided to, to give the consequences or the results of you know, giving them the opportunity to learn, to be educated to be what they want to be and how society can benefit from them. That was the most important message that we wanted to send in this story. Uh, it took me, I had to write the story at night. You know, I go to work in the morning and Ibrahim would call me all the way from Denmark following up on the story and I have to stay up all night working on it. So it was pretty, pretty difficult. You, you just didn't want to rush it, so you want to put in all your effort, you know, um, no matter how late it was. And thankfully, today we're here and uh, we have a story that people can relate to. I think Gambians should watch out, Africans should watch out. Um, the hand of fate is coming and um, we hope it will touch your soul. And of course, it will trigger some change. Our intention for the film is to use the film uh, to create some behavioral change in terms of uh, how society looks at the girl child. I mean, a lot of people think the girl child is, uh, is um, less important than the male child. But uh, the Hand of Fate explores that uh, girl, the girl child also has some rights uh, equally to the male child and uh, it's important to empower them so that they can grow up and live to their best potential. Stop! Stop. 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 Stop.